there is a lot that can be said about the bent pyramid from the casing stones which are possibly molded to its date being about 4,600 years old it's said to be around that time around that age the height it's a big pyramid huge pyramid you can see the person right up in the background here at the corner of the pyramid so this gives a bit of scale uh, as we look at it and the height is said to be around or just shy of 105 meters uh, just shy of about 344 uh, feet in this video we'll have a closer look at the casing stones in particular and other aspects these are the uh, casing stones to the bent pyramid and you can see if you go right up to it that it's just really flat the bottom of it it's pretty cool to be able to kind of see them and have this view with the casing stones you don't get that at the Great Pyramid up here you can see oh we can just see the uh, top of it right now but you can see a bit of piping coming out so just in central shot there there's a pipe coming out so we just looked at the western face of the bent pyramid and that pipe was at the western entrance uh, to the inner chambers we will now position to the satellite pyramid as per this illustration which is situated to the south of the bent pyramid this is the bent pyramid and you can see the the bent nature up there and some of the casing stones this is a small pyramid right beside it and you can see the line the working line along here with the in this case it's heavily eroded but you have the casing stones at the bottom with this straight line marked out at the bottom so that's the bent pyramid up this way and uh, just looking around here yeah there's like this uh, opening into this smaller pyramid beside the bent pyramid just with the casing stones along here uh, just for detail the markings in here you see these on the other pyramids as well and also just this even this little block remains in here on the casing stone that's uh, a pretty sort of full-on in a way uh, coming along here you can see the little workings within along the edge the bottom edge of these casing stones so this is the bent pyramid up here and then across this way you can see the the base with the line going through the lines going through and then up towards this direction of this smaller pyramid here that's uh, you see the two lines here you also see other sort of divots in here working divots uh, along now the cornerstone here has been messed with with uh, somebody but uh, beyond that heading this way again you can see the some of the markings in here with the uh, stones also so some of the working within what is a you know pretty spent pyramid in the earth there are these kind of ribs depressions in the earth uh, no doubt old foundations very old this pyramid here is largely uh, eroded away um, so we're not going to get a close-up of that but uh, nonetheless so here's another shot of the bent pyramid right here we just looked at some of the foundations for this pyramid over here we've got the bent pyramid and we have the red pyramid we will now position to the eastern wall of the bent pyramid and specifically to start off with the eastern chapel as per this illustration some adobe brick mud uh, foundations here but large stones and a lentil and sort of a configuration under here uh, now here are some uh, casing stones that go from here and it actually looks like they are part of the larger pyramid which is up here so for, for whatever reason these lower casing stones uh, do seem to have remained just to add another we're at the corner of the bend pyramid here and it goes up like so now just for interest uh, putting the camera sort of down to the level of the casing stones and uh, getting an idea 
for how flat this thing really is when you look up it. Part of the equation was that a guard or police officer shadowed us around the pyramid. So by the pyramid here, there are little ants, a little, a pretty big uh, ant nest under this rock. Coming up, the casing stones here are... Okay, so that's the pyramid in the background that uh, is hugely dilapidated. Now this one here though, the casing stones are awesome here the cut, you can see the form of them. And also, this is a great opportunity from the angle here. Uh, there's a few divots and stuff just over here. I can show a few photographs of that, but coming up this way, you get a chance here to kind of see how kind of flat the side is uh, going through. It's very impressive. You can see areas where the stone has eroded like there and then up here and then uh, looking at the erosion because in some places it looks chipped off but here you can see the the erosion of the stones it's it's really remarkable so just having a, a little look through the cavities in these stones and you can see here the casing the outer casing is there and the inside has eroded away. So, so as pointed out here, the erosion, you can see the, the redness uh, coming down the rock face and the redness here. Now just to point out with these rocks here you can see some of that similar redness within there but uh, just something to note on this, this pyramid, curiosity. So that's the parking spot in the background and they're doing work around here. We're up on a platform here and this is the, so there's that pyramid in the background. The red pyramid is right there and so this is the side of the bent pyramid and there's a door up here, doorway going in, but there is currently no access and just more of the casing stones along here. Just to point out with the rocks on here that with this doorway here, and maybe, maybe it assisted them to find the doorway, is that this rock here is quite large. It's, it's acting as a lentil on the doorway, so it's a, you know, an, almost a trilithon type doorway, but uh, the, the further rocks along here are uh, generally smaller. So that would have given a bit of an indication perhaps as to an entryway into this uh, pyramid. Now it's reasonably high up, so if all the casing stones were there, it would be pretty hard to get up to this point. So the lentil is here, just further, you can see some of the detail with the stonework here also. Uh, extraordinary extraordinary uh, use of different sizes and shapes of stone on the sides of these pyramids even. The bent pyramid and the on the corner here uh, you have this you have the scaffolding up here and it's really impressive. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the detail around the bent pyramid in Darshur, Egypt. In Darshur also there is the Red Pyramid of which we will actually go inside. So that will be in part two. See you there.